Hello guys, welcome to Afoam TV. My name is Afoam Hene. We thank you for watching our videos, sticking to the channel, subscribing and sharing our videos. We will promise to continue to bring you very informative and educative videos to help you in setting up your own farm. We want everybody to get into farming, whatever form of farming, we want you to get into farming to help develop the country and Africa as a whole. Today, I'm excited to bring you the updates on the greenhouse snail farm that we started in Esiakwa, in the eastern region. I'm going to give you the spectacular updates. I mean, this is the first time we are presenting to you the three greenhouses that were constructed in, on this farm. So we'll go into the greenhouses and I'll show you how the construction and everything is going to be like one after the other. So if you want to know the full details of what goes on in the greenhouse farm please watch this video to the end and share the video stick and stay we'll be right back We are going to start with our first greenhouse now just before you enter the greenhouse you notice that there's a poly tank raised on a level this is our irrigation system so that's going to be the irrigation system that provides water into the greenhouse and then just at the entrance to you notice that we have prepared um, a small hole here this is going to contain our biosecurity um, chemicals that is going to uh, prevent diseases, people entering from entering with diseases. So before you enter, you are going to dip your feet into the um, soluble chemicals that we have provided here before you can enter into the greenhouse. So let's check it out. And then there's another biosecurity measure also here. So you can see that we have provided two levels of biosecurity measure. We are not leaving anything to chance to ensure that nothing that we don't want enters into the greenhouse. Now, this greenhouse is seven meters by five. So seven meters length and then five meters width before you enter into, that is the size of the greenhouse. So we have started planting um, the crops that the snails enjoy most. I mean, every food that is highly nutritious for snails is going to be planted here. You can see that we've already applied some manure and this, this is the uh, dwarf banana we've planted here. These are creeping plants. And sweet potatoes, um, cocoa yam, other forms of crops that uh, nutritious food for snails are going to be planted here. So you can see that some of the cocoa yam are already coming up. If you look at, if you look at this place, we have the cocoa yams coming up. This is the dwarf banana also coming up and the cocoa yams are also coming up. So this is the irrigation system. So the irrigation system, anytime we turn it on, then you see that water comes and sprinkles on the um, vegetables and the crops that we have grown here to ensure that they all grow to um, 
the best that we want to achieve from them note that this greenhouse is going to act like a natural habitat for our snails so there's not going to be any human activity that will be going on here so as soon as the crops are grown and then we introduce the point of lay snails into the greenhouse not much human activity will happen into in this greenhouse we are going to allow the snails to just be here as in their natural habitats and then they produce as much as they can so um we'll go into the next one and see how that thing is also set up and then the last one and see how that thing is also set up i mean this is an exciting project you should know that snail farming is very lucrative if you put in the right measures as this farm has started so so this is our second house this is our second house and as you can see um you have a very comprehensive irrigation system that has been set up and then the crops have been grown we want to ensure that this greenhouse at the end of the season can produce minimum 10,000 snails after you have introduced about a thousand point of lay snails into this greenhouse so you can imagine um, if you have 10,000 snails in this greenhouse at the going market rate what you are going to get so this is a very good investment that will ensure that you have a uh, return on your uh, investments uh, very high so this is the second house we go to the third one and they are all basically the same same sizes same process same procedure and that's what we are go we, we are doing so you enter into the third house and you see it's the same procedure going on here so i mean this this greenhouse this technology is something that i would actually recommend for anybody who wants to enter into a serious snail farm because this ensures that you don't do a lot of work you don't interfere with the activities of the snails you don't communicate any diseases to the snails so you don't um record a lot of mortalities on the snail farm but you realize that for some, those of us who do the snails in boxes and in, in small concrete um, setups, you see that the mortality rate is quite high. But if you leave them in a natural um, existence or in their natural ecosystem like this, you, you see that the mortality rate is quite low. And then it ensures that you have a harvest, a higher harvest than um, the usual um, uh, method that we, we use. Also, you also realize that because the irrigation system is provided, this method actually will ensure that you have snails at most seasons. Because you see, we have an off, off, off season and then the on season when the snails are not really, when the snails are scarce and then when there are abundance of snails. But when you have a system like this, it ensures that at both seasons, you have snails available to sell. So guys, I mean, this is the setup that I wanted to show you. The three greenhouse setup that we started here is finally complete. We've started in the, we are in the final stages, um, growing the crops. When the crops are at a level, we introduce the snails. Immediately we introduce the snails. Then we are waiting for the harvest time. And then we can ensure that at the end of the season, we have abundance of snails. So very soon, We'll be advertising snails from this farm for people to come and buy. You must also know that this whole setup, this whole setup, I mean, from the poly tank to the irrigation system, to the greenhouse, to the planting of the crops, to the snails that will be introduced, a thousand snails that will be introduced, is going for a very cool rate of 20,000 Ghana cities. I mean, this is an investment that you cannot pass on. So if you are interested, you should get our numbers and then let's see how we can fix some for you so that you can also own a slow farm that is going to give you good returns on investment. So until we come your way another time with an, event, with an educative video and an informative video like this. Bye-bye.